Here's the blank coffee cup that you downloaded. I've taken the type tool and typed my name, but you'll remember that for type, if I choose to go into the edit menu and do a transform, I'm pretty limited in, in what I can transform. You see some of them are grayed out and even the warp command, if I choose that one, will only give me these preconceived, uh, prepackaged kinds of things. So I'm going to escape out of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right mouse button click on my text layer and I'm going to convert it into a smart object. Smart objects, you'll recall, places that text or image into a protective package and you can do pretty much anything you want to it without harming the original. In fact, I can double click on it and go and edit the original at any time, but that's that protective package that it's in. So I am going to do Command T, which is the free transform. I'll move the text over the cup, and then what I'm going to do is right mouse button click on it and do warp. And so I can grab I can grab the text and start just moving it over pretty much anywhere that I want. Now at any time I can click Command H and hide the grid so I can see what it's looking like. Then Command H turns it back on again. I think I need a little bit more work right Here, I'm going to check it and then I'm going to go Command T again and just squeeze it in just a little bit and then I'm going to do a warp on it again. So that's little handle stretch it. You see what what it does when I grab one of those handles so I can Command H, hide it. Use my move tool to move it on. It still looks a little bit fake. That's because it's not blending out well uh, with the cup, so in order to make it blend well, we need to change its blending mode. And we can do it to one of these darkened ones. So there's uh, Multiply. You see how that allows it to go transparent and, and bring in the shadows? I'm going to do my Warp again and hide it this time and just Play with that part of it, and then I'll hit check. And uh, back to the blending modes. If we did soft light overlay, uh, you can kind of see you could do difference. You just play around with the blending modes and, and see what they do. I'm going to set mine to uh, to multiply, I think. So that's an example of using a smart object in order to warp text.